So my new thing, I've been coming up with very bad catchphrases for some of my classes. And if you've avoided that so far, congratulations, but your luck is running out. Because tonight, I'm here to tell you to forget your moaning and quit your fuss. You're here for toning and abs plus. That's pretty bad. And you're still there. All right, so toning and abs plus. We're going to work out with some segments of high intensity training, four blocks of high intensity. In those blocks, we will do eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We are going to be doing our same basic some tweaks we did on the last class, our last toning and abs, We're working with one dumbbell at a time. It might be a heavier weight or a lighter weight, but all the exercises are one dumbbell at a time. I also have a chair tonight. I might use that. Let's warm it up. Elbows tucked, palms are down. Let's march it right. From here, we're going to step and lift our knees like this. You want those hip flexors, loosen up those hamstrings, those glutes. Marching it out for eight, seven, six, five. Next, we're going to open up our hips, bringing elbows out to the side, thighs up to the elbows. We're going to need this warming up here for our squats we do later in eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, we'll do some hamstring curls. We'll step and curl. Try to kick your backside, chop your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's double up those curls. Give me two curls here and here. Again, once more. Now back to single curls for four. Three, two, and double for two. And one now single single double single single and double single single and double two more sets single single double one more time single single double tap it out wide four three now add some shoulder rolls for four three we'll roll our elbows next for four roll our arms for four reach overhead. Four, three, punch it forward. Four, three, punch across your chest and twist. Four, three, punch it up. Four, three, punch it down. Four, three, punch across for two, punch it up for two, punch it down for two, punch across. Let's swing our arms. Four, three, Pivot to the right. Back to the toe, to the heel, to the arms. Two. Let's shift the weight back to the left foot. With a flat back, press down your chest. Let's tap that right foot. Four. Three. Side to side. Four. Three. Plant that foot. Take a big step back with your left foot. Push your heel to the floor. Lunging forward, fingers laced, palms turned out. We're going to slide our shoulder blades apart. Then rock forward. Stretching your calf, opening your hip for four, three, now, we'll do a heel raise with that back heel, lift it up, lift it lower, let's reach and pull, up and down, keep it going, four, three, two, hip flexor stretch, let's bend the back knee in, curl the tailbone under, Tilt your pelvis, scoop your abs, and flex your arms. Four, three, two. Hold the knee in for quad stretch, adding a side raise here. We'll lift the arms, we lower the hips. We'll hold it down, we'll add left arm tricep stretch, reaching over your shoulder. Pushing or pulling back the elbow, lifting the rib cage, and stacking the spine. Let's shake it out. Let's march it left, left. Step touch. Tap it out. 
Shoulder roll. Elbow roll. Pull your arms. Reach over your head. Punching forward. Punch across and twist. Punch it up. Punch it down. Punch across. Swing those arms. Four. Three. Now we'll pivot to the left. Tap your toe. Deep your heel. Swing your arms. Two. Shift your weight back to your right foot. Back is flat. Press down the chest. And tap the left foot. Four. Three. Now side to side. Now plant that foot. Take a big step back with your right foot. Push your heel to the floor. Lunging forward. Big shoulder roll. Place your fingers behind your back. Push your knuckles down. Lift your arms up. Press out your chest. Rock it forward. For four. Three. Next. Heel raise with your back heel. Lift and lower. Reach and pull. Up and down. Keep it going. For four. Three. Two. Hip flexor stretch. We'll bend the back knee in. Curl the tailbone under. Tilt your pelvis. Scoop your abs. Flex your arms. Four. Three. Two. Hold your knee in for quad stretch. At chest fly, squeeze your shoulder blades in back. Put your elbows in front. Let's hold it down. Let's add right arm tricep stretch. Reach over your shoulder, push or pull back the elbow, lift the rib cage. Back the spine. Shake it out. We're going to start with, before we do our first block of high intensity, we'll just do some sumo squats, some goblet squats. So let's just grab one of our heavier weights. Now, the goblet squat we're going to do is with a wide stance, making sure that our knees are pointing toward our toes. So not folding in with the knees, keeping them out over the toes. So you need to adjust your feet, whatever you need to keep those knees pointing toward the toes. The sternum is lifted, the spine is tall. That's why we're going to hold it up like this. Helps remind us not to lean forward. Lift the chest, let's drop into our squat and lift and lower, up and down. Keep those knees pointing out, lift and lower, keep it going. Exhale up, inhale down, grounding into your heels. Goblet squat, working quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, catch your breath. We'll do a second set of those. And we'll move into our first block. Our first block will be a single leg deadlift and a single leg squat. And you're going to love it. Grab your weight. Drop into your squat. And down, lift. Lower. Up and down. Drive the weight into your heels. Exhale up, inhale down. For ten. And nine. Chest is lifted. Not leaning forward. Seven. Six. Palm stretch. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. All right. Moving now to do our deadlift and our squat. Let me give you an option here. For our deadlift, we'll be on one leg. We're going to hold the weight in the outside hand, hold the chair with the inside hand. We're going to ground it to the outside foot. We're going to raise the inside leg out behind us nice and straight. We'll do both sides of that. Then you can do either, actually, we'll do one side of that. And you can either do a squat on this leg or you can do a lunge, a split squat, I should say, with that foot forward. Then we'll switch the other side, the outside hand holds the weight, and the outside foot grounds, the inside hand grabs the chair, deadlift, and then you can either do squat here, or you can bring that, that outside foot forward for split squat here. So it's either a unilateral squat on one leg or a split squat. I'm going to do unilateral squat for the first round and split squat for the second round. Just to mix it up. And now, back to our music.
Grab your weight. Ground one foot. And deadlift. Go. Hinge the hips. Lower lift. Now work at your own pace. This is kind of fast music for deadlifts, so. Keep control, keep your spine long. Working those glutes. Stay here, or bring that outside foot forward for a split squat. This is unilateral squat. It's one of your options. Go. Push the hips back if you're doing unilateral squat. Bend and extend. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Down and up. Almost. There it is. Switch sides. Back to deadlift. Outside hand holds the weight. Outside foot grounds. Inside leg lifts behind you. Stack your spine. Go. Hinges. Down and up. Lower and lift. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way up, please. I know what's happening out there. Unilateral squat. We can bring that outside foot forward for split squat. Go. Join this with me. Be sure to push your hips back. Bend and expand. Uh, second set of deadlift on this side. Go. Hinge it. Spine is long, core is engaged. Sternum is lifted. All the way up. This time I'm doing split squat. The outside foot comes forward, the inside foot comes back. Go. Bend and extend. Now that back knee does not touch the floor, please. You need to bang your knee on the floor. Almost. Here it comes. Last set of deadlift. Switch sides, ground your foot. Go. And extend. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Down and up. Final round. I'm doing split squat with my outside foot forward. Spine stack, shoulders pack. Go. Again, not bending the knee to the floor, please. You're almost there. Recover. Catch your breath. We'll do some heel raises next. We'll do one foot at a time with a straight leg. Then we'll come back again and we'll do both feet for bent knees. Feel free to use a weight for extra resistance if you'd like to. I'm going to grab a less heavy weight. If you're doing Holding a weight for one foot, I recommend holding that weight in the same side hand as the foot as the heel you're lifting, so it's more balanced side to side. Choose your option and lift your heel. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next, up for three, down for one. Two, 
three, low, up, two, three, and down, two more, lift, lift, lift and lower, one more time, back to regular time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, catch your breath, switch sides, if you're switching, if you've got a weight, switch hands as well, and lift that foot, here we go, the big heel, eight, seven, six, five, up and down, four, three, next, up for three, down for one, lift, two, three, down, I recommend a little bit wider stance with your feet, even though I'm saying stance even though you're lying down, because you will be kind of off center, so having your feet wider helps you stabilize. You do want to stabilize. We're doing this, actually. Part of why we do the unilateral press is to make you work harder to stabilize your core as you do it. So we're grounding our shoulder blades, keeping our core stable. So, start on your weaker side. Most of us just switch from side to side according to whatever works best for you. Lie back. Ground your shoulder blades. 
widen your feet, stabilize your core. Ground your shoulders, bring one weight up. There we go. Go. Lower and lift. You can work at tempo if you like, you can work faster or slower if you like. Try not to drop your elbow below your shoulder, that will help protect your shoulder joint. Inhale down and exhale up. Bend and extend. One arm chest press. Switch sides. Ground your shoulder blades. Stabilize your core. Get ready. Go. Lower and lift. Down and up. Bend, extend. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Looking at our pecs and our triceps here. And stabilizing the midsection. Go back to the side you started on. Ground your shoulder and weight is up. Palm facing your feet. Palm could also face in if you prefer. Go. Lower and lift. Bend and extend. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Press. Switch sides. Round your shoulder blades. Weight is up. Catch your breath. Go. Lower and lift. Bend and extend. Inhale, exhale. Try not to drop your elbow lower than your shoulder. Breathe and press. We're halfway through. Go back to the side you started on. Round your shoulders. Go. If you're working at tempo with me, you'll find you're doing 12 reps each set. That's neither here nor there, really, but I just tend, I tend to work at tempo most of the time. Not all the time. Switch sides. Second side, third set. Go. Bend, extend, inhale, exhale, bring it down and press it up and keep it going. We're three quarters through. Go back to the side you started on for the last time. Round your shoulder blades, brace your core. Go. Lower and lift, bend, extend, inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe. You got this. You got it. Final round. Second side, fourth set, last set. Round those shoulder blades, brace that core. Go. Lower and lift and bend, extend, inhale, exhale, home stretch. Keep that shoulder grounded. Recover. Hold on to that weight. We'll do some pullovers now. Catch your breath. We're going to hold that weight with both hands. We're going to bring it up. Take tabletop knees. Now, you can hold these tabletop knees, but I'm going to encourage you to extend your legs out for more core work. So be sure to keep your abs braced. Think about drawing your navel in towards your spine. As I lower the weight out, I'm going to extend my legs. Now, higher is easier. Lower is harder. I have to pay attention to my spine to make sure I'm not hyperextending my back. So that's what we're going by. If you find your back arching, either raise your legs higher or just hold them in tabletop or plant them on the floor if you have to. Also, we're going to float the head off the bench to make it a tiny bit more intense. 
You are welcome. Let me adjust the music. Oh. There it is. Tabletop knees, weight up, close your head. Five, six, seven, eight. Lengthen it out. Pull it in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two, fourteen. And pull. And inhale. Exhale. For twelve. And lift. Eleven. And up. Ten. If your neck gets tired, you can rest your head. Inhale. Exhale. For eight. Now pay attention to which hand is holding the handle on the inside, because we'll switch hands for the second set later. Lift. Out. And in. Almost there. In four. Pull. Three. Up. Two. And one. And rest. Catch your breath. We will do a second set of those in a minute. But I know a lot of you have really missed doing reverse crunches because we hardly ever do those. So, tabletop knees. You can float your head if you double crunch if you want to. Just pull your spine and lift your hips like this. Now be careful not to swing your legs. Just lift and scoop, peeling your sacrum off the floor. You can float your head off the bench off the floor if you want to. You can also make it double crunch. More work that way. Eight. Seven. Scoop for six. Lift for five. Four. Three. Guess what? Slow it down to half time. Crunch. Release. Exhale. Inhale. Lift. Lower. Keep it going. Like this. For four. And down. Really squeeze those abs. For three. And down. And down. For two. One more like this. Regular time again. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. On one, hug your knees in, relax your head and neck. All right, take a deep breath. Grab that one weight for our second set of pullovers with double leg stretch combined. Now, remember what I said, you had your right hand on the inside, put your left hand on the inside this time. Tabletop knees, brace those abs, weights are up, you can float your head if you want to, pull legs and out, and in, down, and up. This time we'll just go for 10 more. So I've got a 12. Make it 9. And lift. 8. Be conscious of your spine. Don't arch your back. Limit your range if you need to. 6. And pull. And 5. And lift. 4 more. Exhale. For 3. Up. 2. And one. Let's catch our breath. Let's put the weight down. Before we leave the floor or bench or whatever, let's do one set of jackknife crunches. One more nice little ab thing. So let's point our heels toward the ceiling. We're going to reach our fingertips toward our toes, throwing our shoulders up. Reach into the toes. Here we go. And lift. Crunch. Exhale, inhale. Keep it going. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 
home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Hug your knees. Relax your head. Drop out your back. Take deep breaths. Let's sit up. Take a moment. Let the blood come back to your brain. Need to do a chest stretch. So open our arms. Squeeze our shoulder blades. Little pulses back. Big pulse to release it. All right, that's a lot of core work. Good. Let's move on for our third block. This will be rows, just like with our chest press. We're going from one side to the other. Um, recommend using a chair here. Now you could do it this way. But you can either do a three-point stance with both feet down, you can, then you can just switch hands and just switch it here. Or you can do uh, one leg up and switch. We're just going to go back and forth for four sets for on each side. You can also, I turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. It's up to you. Again, a heavy weight is best, and best to start on whichever arm is weaker, in your opinion. So, just like before, the outside hand will hold the weight. If you're on one foot, it's the same side foot as the weight. This knee left is knee, uh, leg raise is optional. That's just more for your glutes and more for your core to make you stabilize. All right. Choose your weight, choose your stance. Pull right up to your side. Go. Lift and lower, keep it going. Squeezing back the shoulder blade. If your leg is up, try to push back to your heel. Make it nice and strong. Keep your spine long. No hunching, no rounding, please. Other side. And go. go. Lift and lower, keep it going. Spine is long, leg is strong. Back to the side you started on. No hunching, no rounding, please. Go. Lift. Almost. Choose your stance, grab your weight. Go. Lift and lower. Right up to your side. Squeeze back that shoulder blade. Lead with your elbow. That's halfway, switch sides. Back to the side you started on. Go. And row. Working our lats and our biceps here. Sides. We're almost three quarters of the way through. Go. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Up and down. You got this. Almost. 
There it is. Three quarters through. Last set on the side you started on. Go. Lift it lower. Lengthen your spine. Lift your sternum. Don't round over. Final round. Second side. Last set. This is it. You got this. You're done for the rows. Go. Pull up to your side. Lift and lower. Keep it going. We're almost there. Here it comes. Recover. Catch your breath. And that's our back exercise. Let's interlace our fingers. Let's turn our palms out. We'll press out, slide our shoulder blades apart. Get a nice stretch across the upper back. Coming up next, we'll do some side bends for our obliques, our obliques, external, internal. They give us lateral flexion, they give us rotation. We'll need one weight. We'll hold it in one hand. And we're gonna, we're gonna do a lateral bend so that weight goes right down the seam of our shorts. It's not forward, it's right down the side. Now I will, in the first set, I will do half time tonight, which is this. In the second set, I'll do regular time, which is this. So you can do whatever you like, I'm gonna show you both. When I say second sets, I mean, I'll do both sides half time, then we'll do both sides again, and I'll do regular time then. If you're doing regular time, you're doing 16. If you're doing half time, you're doing eight. But the muscles are under tension the whole time. It's still good. It's just a matter of how comfortable you are moving your spine that way. A slower movement might feel better for you, but you're still working the whole time. In fact, you're kind of working more in some respects. So, grab your weight to the right hand first. Hip with stance, spine stack, shoulders pack. Lower and lift that weight. I'm doing half time. You do right time if you want. Lower and lift. Right to the side. And up. For six or twelve. Five or ten. Four or eight. Three or six. Two or four. One or two, and switch sides. Spine stack, shoulders tack, right down the seam. And five, six, seven, eight, eight or sixteen. Seven or fourteen. Six for me, it might be twelve for you. Five. Halfway through, four or eight. Three or six, two or four, and one or two, and rest. Catch your breath. You can switch it up on your second set. You can keep it the same. Hopefully, you are feeling this exercise in the opposite side from where the weight is. So if the weight's over here, you're going to feel it over here as these muscles contract to raise you back up. Alrighty. Grab your weight, right hand. I'm doing regular time. You can choose what you like. Five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. 
four, you're halfway there. You've got two, six or three, five, four or two, three, two, and switch sides. Spine stacked, shoulders tapped, side bend. Here we go. Sixteen. your left hand, ground your left foot, raise your left arm and your right leg, feet are still parallel. Back your spine, back your shoulders, here we go. Go! Lift and lower. Back to the side you started on. Ground your right foot. Just lift your left leg. Parallel feet. Raise your right arm. Go. All those abs in and up. Try to engage your pelvic floor. I'll help you stabilize and balance. Remember to use this weight to balance against your leg. The arm and leg work together. The arm and legs work together to create balance as you do the lifting. Stack your spine. Go. Try to lift and lower in unison so that as you raise the arm and raise the leg, they balance each other. Core is braced. Pelvic floor is active. We're halfway through. Go back to the right hand. Ground the right foot parallel feet. Raise the right arm and the left leg. Go. This is a good balance work for us. It. Weight in the left hand, ground the left foot, raise the left arm, raise the right leg. Go! Get 
getting there. You might be feeling your deltoids by now. Your deltoids are your shoulder muscles. They're working. They're doing the work. Three quarters through. Last set on the right hand and left leg. Pack those shoulders, lift that sternum, stand tall, go. Focus on your stationary spot. Almost. All right. Final round. Last set, left hand, right leg, spine stacked, shoulders packed, parallel feet. You got this. Go. Lift and lower, keep it going, almost there. All right. Recover. Cut that weight down. Let's stretch those deltoids. Give me a big shoulder roll back. Interlace your fingers, push your knuckles down, lift your chest up. Stretch those deltoids. We're going to do some triceps and some biceps. Shake it out. For triceps, then we can go with a lighter weight. I'll give you a couple of choices. You can do a kickback in that three-point stance, straightening the arm back. Or you can do the overhead extension, the French press up here. Now we will do two sets on each arm, so you can switch it up if you want to. I'm going to do kickbacks first, and then do overhead extensions after that. You can do both for both, or one or the other, or it doesn't matter. It'll work your triceps either way. Changing the angle does work the muscles differently. It just changes emphasis. So choose a position, and then get ready. If you're doing what I'm doing, don't swing the weight forward. Bring it to a stop at the bottom so you're not going to point toward the floor. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch arms, whatever you're doing, just switch arms. Find your position and get ready. Bend extend. Lift and roll. Up and down. Don't let it swing. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Almost through this set in four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. You can change exercises if you want to. Go back to the side you started on. Choose your option. And get ready to bend and extend. And lower again. Inhale, exhale. Down and up. 12, 11, 10, 9 and press and keep it going. 8, 7 up, 6, 5, press, 4 more. 3, 2, 1. Alright, good burn. Switch hands, last set of triceps. Get ready. Bend your Down and up. Low. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Ten. Press. Four. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. 
stretch out those triceps. We'll do that by first rolling our shoulders back. Let's sweep the right arm up. Pat yourself on the back. Now with your left hand, grab that elbow. Either push or pull it back. So you feel a stretch in the upper arm, the right arm. Tricep stretch. Yeah. Big shoulder roll. Just put the left arm up and pat the back. Grab the elbow. Push or pull back. Tricep stretch, left arm. Breathe. Stack your spine tall. Shake it out. Time for concentration curl. You can sit on your chair or wherever else you've got. probably want to start with your weaker side arm first. You're going to brace your elbow against your inner thigh to help stabilize that arm. Curl it up to your shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift and lower. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. We'll curl and keep it going. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, one stretch, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Brace your arm against your inner thigh. Use the leg to stabilize the arm. Five, six, seven, eight. Curl it. Lift and lower. Up and down. Keep it going. Twelve. Eleven. Nine, lift for eight, exhale for seven, six, palm stretch, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. In between sets, we'll do some twists. Here are some options. We'll, we'll, we'll all stack our spines and pack our shoulders. We can lift our heels off the floor with our toes down for some balance here. We can balance let our sits bones with our feet off the floor. Now, if you are comfortable twisting, you can turn your torso from side to side. If you aren't comfortable twisting, you can move your weight from side to side. You're still going to get some benefit here. That sort of anti-rotational bracing you have to do will still work for you. So choose an option and get ready. Turn it side to side or move that weight. Your choice for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. We've got one more set of concentration curls on each arm. Go back to the side you started on. Grab your weight. Brace against your inner thigh, using, using the leg to stabilize the arm. Five, six, seven, eight, curl it. Lift and lower, up and down. How about 12? 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, up, six, and stretch. Almost there at four. Three, two, and one. Switching sides, bracing the arm, stabilizing with the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, curl. Lift and lower, up and down. It's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, arm stretch, four, three, two, last one. Put that weight down. We'll open our arms. We'll twist our thumbs under this time. We'll press back. Stretch our biceps. We're going to move down to the floor and do some more stretching. We've, we've done our abs. We've done lots of abs. 
which is nice to know. Let's see, what do we got? All right, play on our right sides to start. You can rest your head on your arm, you can stack your hips, you can stack your shoulders. Just draw that left leg in and grab the foot or ankle, then pull that foot up and back behind us. We're trying to move the knee behind the hip. So if we look down, we don't even see that knee because it's back here, it's not up here. It's back here. Hip is open. Feeling a stretch in our quadriceps. Breathing and opening. I am mirroring you. Don't get confused when I'm saying right or left. I am calling it for your benefit as I am mirroring you. Now rolling onto our backs. We're grabbing the left thigh with both hands, hugging the knee to the chest, or pulling the leg down beside the rib cage, pressing out through the right heel. Inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, you might find you can stretch a little farther. Those exhales are where our parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. That's our rest and digest things. Relax, release, and let go. The blood pressure drops when you exhale. We're straightening our leg up, holding behind our thigh or calf, letting our hips sink into the floor for hamstring stretch. Inhale. And again, as you exhale, you might find a little more range of motion. Don't overstretch this, please. Don't pull it. Don't hurt yourself, but you feel it. Hamstring stretch, left leg. Now, bending that left knee with our right hand, pulling the left leg across the body, rolling onto the right hip, keeping our shoulder blades grounded. We're extending the left arm to the side and turning our head to the left. Taking our spinal twist here, just relaxing and melting into it, not forcing it, just breathing and sinking. Coming back to center, we're crossing our left ankle over our right leg, keeping that left knee open like a number four. We're going to grab the right thigh with both hands and pull it in. We can press our left elbow against our left inner thigh for this four stretch, opening up our hips, breathe. Now we're switching the cross of our legs, bringing our right ankle over our left thigh, still keeping that right knee open like a number four. Both hands grabbing the left thigh, hugging it in. We're pressing our right elbow against our right inner thigh this time, pulling in the left leg to stretch the right hip. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to release the left leg out and down. We'll grab the right thigh with both hands. We'll pull the right knee into the chest or we can pull it down beside the ribcage. Let's also push out through that left heel. Feel this in your right glute and your hamstrings. Now extending that right leg up, but sinking the hip down into the floor, holding behind the thigh or the calf. Inhaling and exhaling deeper into the hamstring stretch. Give your body time to release. Now bending that right knee, the left hand, pulling that leg across the body, rolling onto the left hip. Keeping shoulder blades grounded, this time taking our right arm to the side, turning our head to the right, away from the knee. Inhale, exhale, and sink into your gentle spinal twist. This is very good for your digestion. It helps stimulate peristalsis. That's a real word. Continue rolling on to our left side, stacking our hips and shoulders. Hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Now we're going to bend that right leg and pull the foot up and back. Those hip flexors and quads here. And breathe. Remember to pull that back foot away from your back side, not toward it, up and away. Now 
I'm releasing that leg, we're rolling onto our belly, so bringing our elbows under our shoulders for Sphinx to release our abs. Relax your abs, please relax your lower back. Push down into your elbows, lift your chest up. Try to pull your rib cage away from your pelvis, and just feel the stretch in your midsection. Don't engage the lower back, don't arch it, just let it pull and relax. Release that, we'll push ourselves up to hands and knees. A couple of cat cows, just flexing the spine, inhaling to lift, exhaling to scoop. Coming back to neutral, we're curling our toes under, rolling back on the balls of our feet. Inhale and exhale to rise up, forward fold. Inhale and exhale, come all the way up. Take a little wider than hip twist stance for three deep breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull those shoulder blades down. Inhale, expand the ribs. Exhale, press. Push the air out one more time. You got it. Good work. We'll see you next time.